Okay, this problem asks us to sketch a G versus T curve for the following phase diagram, which is pure SiO2. As we change pressure or temperature, we see that there's a lot of different phases that SiO2 can actually form in. So let's go ahead and sketch this. Let's start by drawing our axes. We're going to have G and T. Now the temperatures range from 0 up to about 1900. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tick marks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tick marks. We know at the lowest temperatures we're going to have low quartz all the way up to about 600. So somewhere around here, all of this region we should have low quartz. And then all the way up to about 900, we should have high quartz, which they're calling beta. We then have a region up to about 1500 where it's tritomite. So again, if that was 3, 6, 9, 10, 15, we'll just call that capital T. And then we have cristobalite for region. And finally, we end up with liquid. So how do we go about sketching this? If we remember that G equals H um, minus TS and that H equals u plus pv, we can write that g equals u plus pv minus ts. And since we're plotting g versus t, what we'd really like to know is what is the slope, right? What is the derivative of dg dt? And looking at our expression just above, we see that there's no t except for in the last term. When we take the derivative once, all that we're left with is negative s. So the slope should be proportional to the negative entropy. So we have five phases to consider, low quartz, high quartz, tritomite, cristobalite, and liquid. If we're going to use the approximation of straight lines, we know first off that liquid's going to have the highest entropy. So let's go ahead and sketch it. We then write, let's do a series of lines with slightly increased, slightly decreasing slope, making sure that we intersect at the right spots. So right there, there. If I've tried to draw these so that these points where they intersect lie right on those dashed lines um, with, <laughs> with some success. I mean, that didn't match up exactly. But that's how you'd go about sketching these. Now, more importantly, how do we know if we've done this right? Well, you could look up the crystal structures. Basically, this says that liquid has the highest entropy, but then entropy decreases as we go down, starting with cristobalite, which should be the most disordered, followed by tritomite, which is slightly less disordered, beta becoming more and more ordered, alpha being the most ordered. Here's those same crystal structures. Again, cristobalite being the most disordered, down here in the bottom right, followed by tritomite, then high quartz being increasingly disordered, and finally low quartz. So you see that there is a trend that more or less agrees with the negative entropy which this phase diagram had suggested we would observe. And that is how you sketch G versus T phase diagrams.